everybody good to be here. I'll read two short poems. The first is a long title. I'm trying to find one more item to buy worth at least a dollar thirty-six in order to satisfy the twenty-five dollar minimum for free shipping on Amazon. <laughs> I can't think of anything else I want. The first two items were easy, presents specifically requested. Since I've been advised I should ride more safely at night with a bike light, I searched for one and found a blue neon jack to stick on the spigot of the tire for only $1.45. I'm intrigued at how it illuminates the spokes like a Ferris wheel and feel smug in my mission so quickly accomplished. But the gadget doesn't qualify for free shipping since it's coming from Hong Kong. <laughs> for kicks, I look up loneliness. It gives back a handful of books about overcoming it. That's not exactly what I had in mind, though, and besides, self-help's too expensive. Finally, I contemplate typing in stale, cream-filled donuts but reconsider as I imagine the dilemma of the Amazon post office runner when confronted with the question, does your package contain anything liquid, fragile, perishable, or hazardous? At this rate, I'd probably be better off if I just paid the stupid $3.99 handling fee. But I'm stubborn. My gift recipients will just have to wait. I leave my cart with its two fostered items until I realize the final element of the trilogy. <laughs> this is called Bayside Reflections. You think of this as your spot, but of course there are others who come here too. Each of you shares your solitude with strangers you usually choose to ignore. In the pods of your cars, you can gaze out and feel a certain safe kind of company, the sort without any commitment or need to change preconceived ideas. That sweet-seeming lady walking her dog may turn out to be nosy or overly loud, and maybe her dog would jump up on you and drool or bite. Or the old guy who smiles and waves as you pass one another by, may one day decide it's okay to give unsolicited advice about how to fly your kite. No, that's not why you come here. So you just stay in your own invisibly bordered space, minding your own business, wondering just a bit about the woman parked in the car next to yours, who always seems to be here when you are, with her window open, her head resting against its frame, facing your direction as she dozes. If she opened her eyes, she'd be looking right at you, staring back. 